Hello, our dear reviewers, and welcome to our special coverage for today's inaugurations. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurated on Wednesday a number of national projects in the sectors of housing and road construction at Sheikh Zayed and 6th of October cities. President Sisi witnessed the inauguration of El Mariutiya Access Road and El Mansouriya Bridge via video conference. The president stressed the importance of the new projects in establishing more than 100,000 housing units, easing the traffic movement and providing job opportunities. The head of state was accompanied by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and a number of ministers and state officials. During the inauguration, the head of engineering authority reviewed the construction and developing roads and accessing the Giza governor rate, referring to that come within the initiative of the decent life to develop the rural areas. To shed more light on that, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Mohamed Rushdi, Professor of Economics. Good afternoon to you, Dr. Rushdi. Uh, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to say good evening to you and our audience, and I would like to thank uh, the program team for today's invitation. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Rushdi. Dr. Rushdi, actually, Egypt has been witnessing a momentum in the construction of the new roads and bridges. Would you please give us an overview of the road projects inaugurated in Sheikh Zayed on the 6th of October today? Uh, actually, before uh, before discussing uh, discussing this uh, mm. crucial point, uh, I would like to highlight that currently what's happening in Egypt, we are being the fruits of a lot of things. Mm. Uh, I would like to start my uh, today uh, discussion uh, with one of the famous idioms for Steve Jobs. To me, ideas are worth nothing unless executed. Uh, and also one of the famous strategic planning science called Henry Mentzberg. It is mm. easy to plan, but it is difficult to implement. That challenge was in implementation. Actually, I would like to take you and our audience through uh, the Egyptian inspirational journey. Mm. Actually, we are bearing the fruits of since uh, President Sisi succeeded to overcome mm. a lot of political and economic issues during the last uh, seven years, actually starting from the economic reform, the devaluation, the interest rate, how we manage the interest rate, mm. how we control the inflation, uh, how the the, uh, the government uh, mm. tried to absorb uh, the, the high inflation and the, the monetary policy committee, how they manage all of mm. those things in addition to uh, decrease the cost of debt and uh, sustain FX rate and the new law investment law, FDR, the financial inclusion, a lot of things that mm. reflected positively on this. Uh, actually, starting, uh, we increased uh, the foreign currency reserve to mm. each uh, 45 billion instead of 19 billion mm. uh, before the devaluation and the new banking law. A lot of things that happened mm. during the last uh, seven years and uh, possibly impacted our uh, uh, our country starting uh, for example one of the crucial things in my yeah. humble opinion if you would like to build a country you have to depend on three main pillars the education mm. and yes. the health of the citizen the egyptian citizen and the infrastructure uh, for started with the education, as far as I recall, Ministry mm. of High Education and Scientific Research budget jumped from 40 billion in 2014, 2015, mm. to reach 65 billion, which is in a nutshell a growth rate around 65 percent. In addition to the number of public universities, has mm. reached 24 public universities with an increase of four universities mm. and 35 private universities with increase of 17 universities actually and to go for the second point which is the health mm. budget it increased in a great way and efficient way mm. and the most important thing which is today we are being the fruits of those things the infrastructure actually mm. uh, we have a lot of mega projects starting uh, the new Egyptian museums with kind of project the administrative capital uh, in addition to uh, 
as far as I call the <laughs> as far as I call uh, mm. uh, creating Middle East largest private medical city, uh, the Daba Nuclear Power Planet mm. project, which has reached to budget 29 billion, yes. uh, and uh, to get the renewable energy, the concentrated solar power CSP planet cost around 1.2 billion dollars mm. in addition to the new uh, entertainment district which is, will cost uh, 20 billion dollars yeah. uh, in the new capital all of those things reflected positively and in my humble opinion if you would like to have a great country with with a strong economy mm -hmm. uh, you have to invest in people and to in to enhance their uh, life standards. Actually, this is the objective of today projects. The yeah. housing projects, as you said, there are a lot of uh, projects, housing projects uh, mm. that President Sisi opened in addition to the infrastructures. Uh, according to Maslow Pyramid Hierarchy of Needs, the first thing you have to, uh, to have a strong country, you have to uh, offer uh, food and housing for people and then safety and belonging and self-actualization, uh, self-esteem and then self-actualization. We are trying to offer people in Egypt the housing to let mm. people stay in a safe place and they have uh, to be comfortable with us. Yeah. This is possibly will reflect on our performance and the productivity mm -hmm. per citizen. Actually, for that reason, uh, a lot of mega projects and housing projects to mm -hmm. little bit decrease the concentration on the old uh, town. Yes. Actually, uh, Dr. Rushdi, uh, the president said that the road the projects being constructed in Egypt are not a luxury, but aim at opening new pipelines for the investment. What is your uh, take on that? Uh, I, I actually, I, uh, in my humble opinion, I, I do support uh, mm. this point. Okay. Uh, when we are investing in infrastructure, we are sending a positive signal to mm. the global community that Egypt on the right track. Uh, and to get uh, more FDI uh, for the country, actually. And this is possibly reflected on a lot, a lot of things that the, the government uh, uh, being the fruits, by the mm. way, that the international, uh, the international, uh, mm. uh, uh, the international rating agencies and uh, a lot of agencies that uh, possibly rating Egypt on a credit risk on a lot of things in a positive way. By the way, NACTED ranked Egypt as the top FDI destination in Africa mm. between 2016 and 2020. Yeah. Actually, Egypt has passed a number of regulatory form laws, including a new investment law in 2017, mm. a new company law and bankruptcy law in 2018, as far as I recall. Uh, and a new custom law in 2021. Those tiny things helped uh, Egypt to get to, to mm. be recognized from a lot of uh, famous and global agencies and mm. centers globally. That uh, Egypt uh, on the right track, and actually uh, it's reflected in Egypt's economic growth rate mm. increased by 9.8 percent in the first quarter of physical year 2021 mm. and 2022 uh, this is actually uh, in addition to uh, mm. the gdp growth uh, growth in egypt uh, as far as i recall in 2021 it's, yes. uh, it increased uh, in a good way uh, we are despite the fact the coronavirus uh, mm. pandemic Yes. Actually, uh, we are sending uh, mm. a positive signal to the global economy that we are the ideal economy for investors. And this Indeed. is reflected uh, on attracting more and more FDI. For of that course. reason, we are recognized from an international uh, agency that Egypt on mm. the right track and possibly attracting is 
affecting FDI. In addition to, I would like to highlight that that mm. our credit risk as a country increased by Moody's and such to be uh, B plus with positive outlook yes. actually. Indeed, uh, Dr. Mohamed Darushji, Professor of Economics, thank you very much for your precious input and uh, for you being our guest uh, for uh, today. Our dear reviewers will go to a short break and after that, that we'll be back to continue our special coverage for today's inauguration by President Abdel Fattah Assisi to a number of national projects in the sectors of housing and road construction at Sheikh Zayed and 6th of October cities. And our dear viewers still with our special coverage for President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurations on uh, Wednesday for a number of national projects in the sector of housing and road construction at Sheikh Zayed and 6th of October cities. To shed more light on that, we are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Dr. Abdel Wahab Ghanim, Deputy Head of the Arab Union for Digital Economy. Good afternoon to you, Dr. Abdel Wahab. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, sir, uh, how do you see the significance of the inaugurations today made by the President in the sectors of the road projects uh, in Sheikh Zayed and 6th of October cities? Yeah, usually uh, His Excellency Mr. President of Fattah al-Sisi uh, attends all the opening for the big mega development mm -hmm. projects in all the governorates. Today he opened in Giza governorate a lot mm. of mega projects. Mm -hmm. One of them for housing, for Ghana, 6 October Ghana housing. Mm. This is thousands of uh, housing for the people living there. Yes. And a lot of uh, big projects for uh, the infrastructure and the roads and the big roads connecting all the the governorate beside the, the Giza to to facilitate the the moving of the the citizens between the east and west and upper and lower hmm. and a lot of uh, opening for the sports he opened the Hassan Mustafa team sports for handball and the the big complex for the national uh, handball teams. Yeah. I think all these projects, it seems to be part of the decent life mm. for, the, uh, for the Egyptian citizens, for housing, for uh, transport from any place in, to another place yeah. in easy way and in comfortable way. And w soon he opening uh, the, the, the roads for uh, the electric transportations. Mm in the ring road and all these things it is a part of uh, Egypt uh, vision 2030 mm. for sustainable development yes sir uh, what is the direct effect here of the construction of new roads connecting the capital with new cities uh, countrywide on the economic and investment levels yeah all these all these projects it's uh, offering for the citizens easy way, saving time, saving money, and saving pollution for uh, mm. uh, the transportation, yeah. the, the, the normal tra transportation. When we're saving all these things, we uh, think all these projects as the part of mm. the green economy. It saves money for the government, all this money going Mm. Uh, to another projects like yes. uh, improvement for the health care and uh, education yeah. all these all these parts of the uh, our mm. uh, egypt vision it's going to uh, to raising our uh, kpis in mm. the national and international organizations yes. and again it raising our gdp in in, in economy yes uh, uh, Dr. Ghunim, uh, how does the building of the new raids uh, and uh, roads and bridges 
spread and encourage the development in nearby areas and cities? I think now His Excellency, Mr. President, have a long vision to build uh, around 30 new uh, intelligent or smart cities. When we're building now these cities, we're going mm. from the 5% we're living from land, we're going to the desert. Yes. For new building there, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to go, to, uh, we, we, we exceed around 2 mm. million per year. This is now we mm. need a lot of houses, a lot of units outside uh, the Nile, the Nile uh, River. Yeah. All these things help yes. the government to give the citizen uh, a, a decent life, in life in, in healthy care, mm. in uh, education, to live in uh, green areas. And all this, as his excellency saying, using, we must use the high technology dig digitalization yeah. uh, and uh, in high performance and mm. standards to, to give the governance for all these uh, mega projects. Yes. What other sectors, Dr. Ghanim, uh, are directly affected by the improvement in roads and how does the development of roads affect the tourism sector and consolidate the country's position as a world-class tourist destination? Yeah, I think uh, His Excellency uh, concentrated on using uh, the ICT projects as a communication and information technology to accelerate all these projects in high performance because, mm. you know, all the projects now has a high-tech performance. Mm. This is why we have uh, the, the digital economy, we have a lot of uh, platforms mm. for e-commerce, a lot of... Uh, initiatives for digital transformation to, to offer all the government uh, services to the citizen mm. through mobile apps or through uh, Egypt digitalization platforms yeah. and paying all the at, uh, the fees for these mm. uh, govern uh, uh, services in digital form to going to less cash society yeah uh, sir, if we speak of uh, slums development, would you please shed light on the progress made in this sector in particular? I think we're going in very high progress in uh, all over uh, the mega projects, yeah. especially in agriculture, yes, housing, and infrastructure, and uh, roads and bridges. We're going in high standards. Uh, yeah. and the high governance mm. to get the, the highest performance in all these projects. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dr. Abdul Wahab Ghanim, uh, Deputy Head of the Arab Union for Digital Economy. Uh, it was really a pleasure to listen to your uh, precious import, uh, Dr. Ghanim. Uh, thank you very much. Our dear uh, viewers, with that, we come uh, to the end uh, of our special coverage for now for the uh, inaugurations uh, made earlier today by President Abdel Fattah Sisi for a number of national projects in the sectors of housing and road construction at Sheikh Zayed and 6th of October cities.